Hey what's up guys welcome back in this video we'll project a 3d text on top of the second image target okay so by the end of this video i'll project this happy birthday dinesh 3d text on top of the card to image target so let's start with the customization so for projecting the 3d text on top of a second image target I'll first add a new image target. So I'll click on game objects. I'll then go in view for here. After this, I'll select the image option. So as you can see, a new image target is added. Okay. I'll rename this image target to card to image target. Okay. Next with the card to image target selected, I'll change the database to AR one database. Okay. And by default, the image target, which is selected is card two. But the card to image target and the card one image target are at the exact same position of zero zero zero. So I'll select the card to image target and I'll move it on the right hand side of the card one image target. Okay. Next, on top of this card to image target, I'll first add a plane. Okay. So I'll right click on this card to image target. After this, I'll go in 3D objects and I'll add the plane game object. So the plane game object is basically a child of this card to image target. Now, since the scale of this plane game object is way too big when compared with the card to image target. So that's why I've selected the 3D scale tool. After this, I'll select this gray cube and I'll reduce the size of this plane. Okay, next I'll select the 2D scale tool and I'll just increase the height of this plane a little bit. After this, I'll select the plane game object and I'll just shift the plane game object a little bit on top of the card to image target. Okay. After adding the plane next, I'll open the data files folder and I'll add some color to this plane. Okay. So inside data files, I'll create a new folder. I'll give this folder a name of materials. Okay. Inside the materials folder, I'll create a new material. I'll give this material a color of blue. After this, I'll click on this color option. Next, I'll go towards a blue color. Okay. And I'll just select this blue color over here. Okay. And as you can see, the hex code of this blue color is 08B7FFFF. Okay. So I'll close this and next I'll drag this blue color on top of the plane game object. Next, I'll add a 3D text on top of this plane game object. Okay. So since the 3d text will be a child of this card to image target. So I'll right click on this card to image target. After this, I'll go in 3d object. And at the bottom, as you can see, we have this 3d text option. So I'll select the 3d text. Okay. I'll then select the position tool. And as you can see, the 3d text is somewhere over here and the 3d text basically reads hello world. Okay. So, I'll select the Y axis and I'll bring the 3D text on top. And next let's modify this 3D text component. Okay. So first I'll rename this text to HBD, which is the short form for happy birthday. After this inside the inspector panel, I'll change this text to happy birthday Dinesh. Okay. So I'll just put my name over here. Okay. If you want, you can put your name over here or you can also put any of your friend's name. Okay. That's totally your choice. Next I'll scroll down and over here, as you can see, we have this option of upper left. Okay. So I'll click on this upper left drop down and I'll change this upper left option to middle center. And now, as you can see, the position tool is now in the center of this 3d text horizontally as well as vertically. Okay. So after changing the anchor next, I'll change the alignment from left to center so that the happy birthday Dinesh text is aligned in the center. Okay. Next, as you can see, the font size is currently set to zero. And since the font size is zero, so that's why this text looks a bit blur. Okay. So I'll increase the font size. So I'll leave the font size to 70. Okay. Now, as you can see, the font looks more clearer now. Okay. But the scale of this font is way too big. So I'll select the 3d scale tool and with the happy birthday font selected, I'll click on this gray cube and I'll reduce the scale of this happy birthday font. I'll double click on this. 
Okay, I'll reduce the scale a little bit more. After this, I'll select the rotation tool. Next, I'll rotate this happy birthday text along the X axis. So I'll select this red sphere, which is for the X axis and I'll rotate it. And as you can see, when I rotate this red sphere, there is a change in X axis. Okay, so this value should be 90. After this, I'll select the position tool. I'll bring this down. Okay, and I'll make sure that the happy birthday text is on top of this plain game object. I'll select the 3D scale tool and I'll reduce the size of this text a little bit more. Now guys, just make sure that this 3D text and the plain game object are above the Y value of zero. Okay, because this image target is at a position of zero along the Y axis. So just make sure that the plane and the 3D text are above this card to image target. After making these changes, next I'll make the card to image target a child of the AR camera. Okay. And next I'll click on the play button. And this time if I project the card to image target in front of the webcam, then as you can see, the happy birthday Dinesh text is showing up, okay? But if I preview the card one and the card to image target at the same time, then only the cake model is projected on top of the card one image target, okay? And the card to image target is not detected. That is, the webcam is not able to simultaneously track both these image targets, okay? So to solve this problem, I'll come out of play mode. Next, I'll click on the AR camera. After this, I'll open Vuforia configurations. Okay. And inside Vuforia configurations, we have this option of maximum simultaneous tracked images. Okay. Which is currently set to one. Okay. Now, since we want to simultaneously track two image targets, so that's why I'll change this number to two. Okay. Similarly, if you want to track five image targets at once, then you have to change this number to five. So after changing this number to two, next I'll save my scene and I'll click on the play button. And this time, as you can see, my webcam is able to detect both the image targets simultaneously. Now, since the card to image target is not that clear. Okay. So that's why the happy birthday Dinesh 3D text output is flickering a little bit. So guys, that's it from this video and I'll see you in the next video.